Hi there, and welcome to Hectic Eclectic. Today we're going to be talking about skin color portrayals in young adult fiction. Why are they only good or bad? Last year, I read 46 books. Now, I know what you're thinking, all you book bloggers who are like, well, I read 200 last year. Okay, yeah, not all of us can do that. Not to mention, 46 is a big number for somebody who has not read a book in a decade. Not that I'm proud of that fact. But anyway, of the 46 books I read, most of them were young adult fiction. And of the young adult fiction, almost all of them were written in first person point of view about a female protagonist. As such, we're really able to delve into the characters' thoughts, what they think about their world, what they think about other people, what they think about events, the actions, themselves. Themselves. That's what stops me. For some reason, it's become a constant theme, and a very annoying one at that, for female protagonists to A, compare themselves to every other single female character in the entire world of their story, who all just so happen by some ungodly form of magic to be prettier than them, and therefore B, consider themselves ugly. Um, why? Not all girls have body issues. Not all girls think themselves ugly. More importantly, it shouldn't be wrong for girls to think themselves pretty, nor should it mean they're conceited. But that's a discussion for another day. For this discussion, we're going to focus in on skin color portrayals of young girls. For anyone within the YA book community, you've likely seen the discussions about needing more racial diversity among characters. I support this. I wholeheartedly support this. I want to have characters from all the racial backgrounds to show their struggles and their voices that white characters may not ever encounter. And also because if we were to combine all the populations of the world, white people would be in the minority, not the majority. And if fiction mirrors reality, as I discussed it should last week, shouldn't white characters also be in the minority too? Yet, I feel like there's been an adverse effect because of this movement to gain a larger variety of races in YA. That happens to be a negative look on pale girls in YA fiction. I happen to be a very pale person, as you can see from the way I just blinded you through my video. I avoid sunlight. I wear tons of sunscreen. I cannot tan to save my life. Literally, I'd get skin cancer if I went outside in the sun too long. And I get nicknamed things like Casper and Vampire because I am so gosh darn pale. Don't worry, nicknames are all in good fun. I think they're hilarious too, though I do prefer werewolf. And you know what? I love being pale. That's right, I said it. I'm so white, my friends compare me to paper and say I would disappear in a snowy scene. I think it's awesome! I laugh right along with them! Why? Because I am secure in who I am. I don't say I like being white because I'm pro-Caucasian or any of that nonsense. I like being white because I am white. I am who I am, and I don't think I should feel bad about that. I take pride in my excessive paleness, and I love that I look good in black clothing because of it, though so I can't wear red, yellow, or orange. And I love that I don't have to compete with my friends to see who got a better tan during vacation. Not that I was actually in the running for that anyway. Yet when I read about female protagonists who happen to be pale-skinned and freckled and see themselves as ugly and their worlds think they're pariahs, that subconsciously hurts my self-esteem. Writers are portraying my physical inability to produce melanin as a bad thing, as unattractive, as ugly. because. I don't get enough of that from, oh, I don't know, the media, celebrities, oh, and the beauty industry, which literally does not make a shade of foundation as pale as I am. And this same negative portrayal has been, and still is, happening to girls with dark skin. And this needs to stop. Writers, readers, people in general need to stop describing a girl, or anyone, as unattractive or ugly because of their skin tone. 
You don't like it? Fine. No one said you had to, but don't make it sound like it's a bad thing because that young girl who looks just like that character you just wrote is now secretly asking herself what is wrong with herself. You are crushing them. We need to support girls of all races, all sizes, all heritages, all everything. We need to give them strength and courage. We need to show them there is no one ideal beauty. There is no one ideal body shape or skin color. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder and a girl should not go through her entire life being unhappy with the way she looks when she can learn confidence and pride in her appearance from a young age. So please stop writing female characters who think they're ugly. Stop writing female characters who compare themselves to all other females in the story. Just write a female character. She can still be insecure, but don't make it only because of her skin color, because that's not going to change, nor should it. But these are just my thoughts on skin color portrayal in young adult fiction. What do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next Thursday with another discussion on Hectic Eclectic. Bye! And welcome to Hectic Eclectic- uh, Yeah, that's what that's- That's right! Wow! Stop making so much noise, school bus! I'm trying to film! Darn you fuzzies, go away! I will get there, one day. One day, I don't know. I'm singing the wrong song. Just, just ignore me. A choke. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Now my coffee mug. I'm so white. My friends compare me to paper. I actually have paper. Not quite. But these are just my thoughts on something. I got thoughts. I got thoughts, you got thoughts. Share them in the comments below. Peace out. Oh, you can still me see my shoulder. That didn't work. Bye. Wait back here, because I'm like, ah, oh, funny bone. I hate funny bones. They're not funny. Bye. Okay, thought somebody was waving at me from across the way, and it is just a flag. Way to end the video.